All right. So what we got going on right now? We're on our way to the St. James community right now. Reports over there: a tornado touched down in that little community area and ripped the roof right off of somebody's house. Uh, there was a uh, tornado over around the Logan T area along Route 185. They had that shut down <laughs> yesterday. Looks like this was flooded out last night. From Oh yeah, that, I don't know if that, they did that or, no, I'd say not. Down up here, I'd say. They, this up here, they did that back there, I, I think not. Something happened back there, that's for sure. Tell you what, lights flickered several times at home. About the well, it's the second or third time the power went out and stayed out. It was out for six hours straight. It was knocked out at 4:26 p.m. Didn't come back on till 10:26 or 10:30. It was back on by 10:30 p.m. Central Daylight Time last night. All right, so we have come into the St. James area. I'm not seeing where. Um, they're also talking about a possibility of snow on Friday now. They're more confident. <laughs> the confidence is growing for the chance of accumulating snow. And right through Fayette County, looking at one to two inches of snow as of right now. But they don't know exact amounts or the exact location of how it's going to hit or anything like that. Not seeing no. That's a shed down there. <coughs> Pull some roofing off that. Barn back there. See that? A little bit of storm damage there. Something had to have came through here last night because there's debris on the ro along the side of the road here. And a lot of it's because this was probably flooded too. So we've seen a little bit of storm damage in this area, but nothing.
it, it could be, you know. Further on down. Yeah. Anyways. A little bit of storm damage in the St. James area, so it's nothing drastic in in the actual minor roof damage to a barn. That's about it. That was not like that until after that storm hit, so. Anyways. Well, I'm out of here, guys. Take care.